Now, how to record findings of the gonioscopy? There was a system proposed by Schaefer in 1960, depending on the angle between the iris and backsurface of the cornea. The wide angle is grade 4, the grade 1 is very narrow, the 0 is the closed angle. Depending on the structure seen, if you don't see anything, this is the closed angle. If you see all the structure, this is the wide open angle, and these are the grades in between. Before that, Che supposed another classification, another system. It is similar, but the numbers are reversed. Here, the stage 5 is the closed angle, while the 0 is the open. The reversal of that of Schaefer. So, never use just gradings by numbers it's better to write down it's open it's partially open it's closed or better to write down which structures are visible Smith supposed another system based on three variables the first is the site of iris insertion the second is the angle width and the third is the peripheral iris curvature the iris insertion can be A or B or C or D or E. A means insertion is anterior to the Schwalbe's line. B means behind Schwalbe's line. C means scleral sphere is visible. Deep D for deep means ciliary body visible. Extremely deep means one millimeter of the ciliary body is visible. Now the angle, the degrees, 10, 20, 30, 40, whatever, and then the curvature of the iris, steep for S, R for regular, Q for cure or posterior concavity. Then the amount of pigmentation seen at the 12 o'clock position. No pigments, just visible, mild pigmentation, marked or intense pigmentation. So there are five stages of pigmentation. So depending on these factors, we say the iris insertion, the angle, the curvature of the iris, and the amount of pigmentation on the 12th position. We can record this on a paper. These two rings the inner one represents the scleral sphere, the outer one represents the Schwalbe's line, so in between we have the trabecular meshwork. We can make a drawing for right eye or left eye, and we can record, say in this area we have peripheral synechia, in this area we can see only to the Schwalbe's line, in this area we can see the scleral sphere and the ciliary body, or we can see the trabecular meshwork and scleral sphere, so we can record in each quadrant what we are seeing for each eye.